Now, a 10 on your side exclusive is new at 11. We are hearing from the mother of a woman accused of trying to poison her children. Lorita Aiken's mother sat down with 10 on your side's Lauren Compton. Lauren? Tom Aiken's mother took me back to the night her daughter and two grandchildren were found unconscious in her home. Tonight, you will hear why Aiken's mother says her daughter belongs in a hospital, not in a jail. My daughter is a loving, kind person. She is, she is sweet, a loving mother. Lorita Aiken's mother prepared this letter as a plea to prosecutors. There is no justice in keeping her in jail. I'm asking for you to reconsider your decision and to drop the charges against my daughter. Last month, Aiken's husband found his wife and their four and five year old children unconscious in their home. Aiken later admitted to crushing prescription pills in her kids' applesauce, cereal, and ice cream. Her mother says there is more to this story. Her only crime it was trusting the medical professionals she turned to for help. Prior to the alleged poisoning, Aiken's mother says her daughter was on a list of medications, first to curb the pain of a wisdom tooth extraction that later caused depression. She went seeking help and we trusted the doctors. Her mother says before long, Aiken had met five doctors and was prescribed 11 different medications. Aiken's mother believes a mixture of the meds, the stress of a full-time job, and motherhood wore on Lorita. Everything came to a head last month after Lorita had an argument with her husband, Jeff. The next morning, Lorita and her kids were in a hospital for poisoning. Police say Aiken tried to poison her kids and then kill herself. I believe that she was in a desperate place and maybe the medication that night and coupled with the argument and for whatever reason, those two things she couldn't handle. Her mother says if anyone is to blame, it's the medical professionals who overprescribed her daughter. They're charging her for something she had absolutely no, no responsibility of, zero. Aiken is now in jail awaiting a hearing on her charges. She is charged with two counts of first degree attempted murder and two counts of altering food or drink. In the meantime, Aiken's children will be with her grandmother in Maryland. In the, in the newsroom, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. And during our interview, Aiken's mother also made a plea to state Senator Cree Deeds. Last month, Deeds' son stabbed the senator several times and then killed himself. Aiken's mother told 10 on your side that she hopes the senator will push for mental health reform in Virginia.